I really, I don't understand where you was going with this whole 50% blacks kill each other and black lives matter and all, don't matter, whatever. Like, I don't get it, bro. I don't. I'm black, and I'm not a part of any gang or anything. I'm married. I have two children. I have a wife. I have a good head on my shoulders and everything. So when I see your comment, I take high offense to that. Because right now, what we are facing, what we are facing right now, bro, like real shit, if somebody murdered, if somebody murdered your brother on camera, if somebody murdered your brother on camera, if I murdered your brother on camera, you will be out here protesting for your people, right? Right or wrong? This is all we're doing. Every you hold on, bro, hold on, bro. I'm not done. Don't cut me off. I'm not done. I'm not done. For you to sit up here and speak on black people, but then I go on your page and you throw on Michael Jackson. Do you realize Michael Jackson was a black man? Do you realize that? Dude, what, you know, what what's going on? Huh? Hey, I'm going to talk to you if you're going to be an adult. Okay? Again, you're talking based on your personal experience. You're talking based on feelings, opinions. I'm only talking okay. based on facts. I'm talking about FBI, FBI crime statistics. Okay, facts. Okay. 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 That's fine. So as far as as far as um, Michael Jackson is concerned, let's just point out the fact that his life actually got worse when he became white, considerably worse. He got accused of being a pedophile multiple times. His yeah. album sales went really crazy. So let's just you know away from MJ. Now, as far as the F as far as crime stats are shown, crime stats show that black people commit fifty percent of all crimes, but make, but make up only thirteen percent of the population. Those okay. things are actually caused not by racism; they're caused by the fact that black people also have the highest uh, stats for um, growing up in fatherless homes. It's a very okay. unfortunate thing. It's not caused by racism, though. It's actually caused by stats also showing. But if you don't believe me, I can show you the stats. But it's also caused I'm by. I hear everything that you're saying. You don't have to show me anything. Okay, good. I'm glad about that. Because you do, so, you do, you do have, you do have, you do have a point. Like I said, I grew up, I grew up, I grew up in the inner city, so I know where you're getting at with that. But let me educate yeah. you. Not all. Listen, we're not going to movie theaters and just shooting up, you know, movie theaters or shooting up colleges because. You know, we lost a Pokemon card game. We're not doing that. That's what your people are doing, brother. That's what your people are doing. So what I need you to understand is, is that right now, what we witness is basically Rodney King all over again. But it was worse because he was murdered on camera. And these officers did not really get the... the if, if it was the other way around, if you flip the script, if it were, if it were six black, male, black males on a white man on his neck, Right, he, they were on his neck. Do you think those black officers would have got would, would, would have gotten the, the the slap on the wrist like these officers are getting? Answer that what question. About, what about Tony Tempa? Huh? What about Tony what about Tempa? Tony Tempa? What about him? Explain, explain, because 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 you no explain to me what, what, where you're getting at because you mentioned black lives and all of that stuff. So we're talking about. What you mentioned, but if you want to mention Tony Temper, enlighten me. Like I said, educate me. I don't mind being educated. I don't mind, you know, being corrected or whatever. But your your comment on uh, that young lady's page was, was very borderline racist, bro. It was. It was. And I wasn't the only one that said it was racist. What, what, what was racist about it? Tell me one thing I said that was racist. When you mention blacks killing blacks and all of that, what does that have to do with what's going on now? That's my question. What does that have to do with what's going on now? Okay, about blacks killing blacks. First of all, that's not a racist comment. It's actually, again, an FBI crime stat that shows that black on black crime is the highest percentage. But okay. what is that going on right now is actually very simple. I feel like if Black Lives Matter really cared about black lives, they would, they would be protesting about every black person killed, even if it's by another black person and not just by I'm a white person. If, if black lives matter to black yeah, people, well. black lives matter. Why do they only protest if a white guy does it and other black people when they have the highest percentage? Why is it only pro? Why is it only protested? I'll, I'm explaining to you why. I'm explaining to you why right now. The reason why it is protested now is because black people are getting killed. They're getting killed. See, see, the thing about the inner city communities, these are dealing with beefs and things that happen. Like if you get into a fist fight, if you get into a fist fight, like. Let's say, all right, let's say, let's say you get into a fist fight with somebody in your community and one of you guys die, right? That's what, that's, that's, that's the, that's the normal thing that happens. 
But when it comes to a part where there are six officers or there are 23 officers who kill, who's killing a 14-year-old black male because he has a brush in his hand, the, all these officers are white. Now, you want to talk about stats and all of that shit, look that up. That's, this just happened in New York. This happened in New York. It is happening, but it's not just to black people. If you look at the stats, white it's, people are... But, but, like, but these, officers, these officers are not... These officers are not being persecuted for what they're doing. They're getting slaps on the wrist. They're getting slaps on the wrist. If there were 23 black males that killed the white boy, they're all, all 23 of them black males, they'll be on their electric chair. They have 23 electric chairs. This is what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's a double standard. It's not right. It's not right. Okay. And this is why people are speaking up on it. It's not right. It's not just white cops who are getting up when they attack a black person. There are multiple cases where cops have gotten a slap on the wrist for attacking a black guy. There was one cop who shot a, an unarmed white man and got acquitted. Not even, not even third degree murder. He was acquitted for shooting an unarmed white guy who did nothing. Daniel Shaver. Look him up. Okay. And okay. there's been more. What about, what about the... Okay, so let me ask you this then. What about the uh, black male that was killed by the white cop who was in his own, he was in his own apartment. The black male was in his own apartment. She went into his apartment because she thought he was, tra he was uh, trespassing in his own apartment and killed him. And she got off. Tell me, tell me what's mm -hmm. that? That's disgusting. That's absolutely Ex disgusting. That's, okay, <laughs> but these things, but that's what I'm saying, bro. These things is what we are speaking on. We're not, okay, we know these the other things happen. We know. But when it's like, okay, you got six officers on, on a black male's neck, or you got 23 uh, white cops killing a 14-year-old kid. A 14-year-old kid. He won't make it to be our age. I'm 29, I'll be 30 in two weeks, and I don't know how old you are, but he won't make it to be our age because he was murdered because he had a freaking brush in his hand. I don't think Black Lives Matter cares because they only talk about it when a white person is the attacker, but Black Lives Matter says nothing about black-on-black -black crime. Nothing. Not a single fucking word. Why? Okay. Okay. Well, here, here, here's my here's my answer to you because I don't just stand for Black Lives Matter when something happens. See, me myself in the city of Philadelphia, I've marched and protested for stop the violence in my inner city. I I danced to perform. I've done things like that. So it's not just about a white person. I want all violence to stop. To be honest, I'm with you. I'm mm -hmm. kind of with you on that. I want all of it to stop because all we. Yeah, if we if we both if we both support we both you know you're a Michael Jackson fan I'm a Michael Jackson fan Michael you know what I mean he wouldn't want none of this shit going on you know what I'm saying so I want all of it to stop it's just not about black lives and all of that stuff or or black or whites killing blacks but the thing about um, whites killing blacks is the fact that the whites are not being properly persecuted for this they're not. They're not. I think they're not at all. Here's the thing. I think what you're trying to say is cops, not just white people in general, because that's kind of a racist thing to say. White people as a whole are not to blame for this. Cops are. And that even, and by the way, that includes black cops, too. Mm -hmm. This, this is this is not a color privilege. It is an authoritarian privilege. It's not just white people or black people. Who so are what about George Zimmerman? What was George Zimmerman then? What was he? What about him? What about him? He killed the he killed he killed Trayvon Martin. He wasn't he a cop or what or was he a regular white dude? Who was he? I'm not saying the case has never happened. I'm just saying it is primarily in But that's my therapy. point. He but that's my point I'm making. George Zimmerman did not get the proper he, he did not get persecuted for that. Now if you flip the scenario around, boom. There have been many, many cops who have attacked white people and nothing has happened to them. And if you check the stats again, in 2017, 18, 19, and 2020, white people were shot more. And by the way, before you respond, I'm actually fully willing to admit that even though white people were shot more, I'm willing to admit that many of those white people were probably mass shooters themselves and mm -hmm. were shot as a result of trying to be stopped by a police officer. Mm -hmm. But it still doesn't change what the stats are showing. So explain to me so, this then. Since you were talking about stats and all of that, explain to me this. What about the rioting and all of that? What about, um, now these aren't even cops. These are white people, okay, mm -hmm. that were in my city, that came in my city, all right, and, and, and basically caused chaos and left. Now, my, my grandma and my, you know, uh, mother and my people, they can't even go get medicine. They got to travel far out. They can't go to the banks. Everything is destroyed here. 
So you explain that to me. Well, let me you ask you. Why, 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 why people started that off? It's all footage. Every, it's footage. Every single, every single piece of footage I've seen is mostly black people who are looting stores. No. Every no. Seen you're seeing, you're seeing the aftermath of it. You're not seeing what's starting. You're not seeing what's starting. But what does it matter who started it? If I if I'm seeing footage, it does people, matter. It does matter. It does matter because if you're going to sit up, hold on, if you're going to sit up here. If you're going to sit up here and speak on, oh, well, black people do this, black people do that, then that matters where it starts. It starts from the core, the source, right? The source is a white person going into an inner city, masked up, masked up as a looter, as a rioter, right? It's on camera. I can listen. If you want me to talk to fine, I can give you the uh, footage and send and DM it to you. I can do that. I have no problem with doing that. It's a it's a video of a guy masked up, and it's a uh, black male. He's like, "Yo, why are you in my city starting this chaos?" This was right. I live in Philadelphia. It's right down west uh, West Philly, off of Fifty Second and Market. Okay. So let me ask you this then: If Black Lives Matter didn't start the looting, does that make it okay for them to go into all these stores and steal like TVs and shit? Um, I'm not with it, bro. I'm not, I'm not with, I'm not with the uh, looting. I actually spoke out against it. And I was, I've been arguing with people about that too, because, um, I had to go out and get stuff for my son. I have a, a 10 month old. I have a baby boy. I had to go out and get diapers. I couldn't even go to the market because the market was closed because people looted the market. So I'm not with the looting at all. I understand the rage because of what, of what's happening. You know what I mean? But I don't get, you know, okay. Why? And I even said it. I said, okay. Are you guys donating the money to George Floyd's funeral? I asked this, okay? Then you got people. Then you got people that 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 uh, stole the stuff. They're selling it. They're selling it for higher prices. So I'm not. I'm. I'm like I understand the rage part, but I'm not with the vandalism and all of that. I'd rather it be a peaceful protest because I protested in my in my time when I you know before I started having kids. I protested and I never not once said, "Let me go in here and steal a pair of sneakers." I don't care about materialistic things. I get excited if I get a, a new rhinestone glove. That's my thing. Or if I get a nice jacket. I don't care about sneakers. I still got the same pair of sneakers from three years ago. As long as they don't have holes in them. Yeah. So I'm with you on the looting and all of that. But you got to understand, too, like, some, some, of, some, of our, some of our people are misguided and they're ignorant. And they, and they, they will go. If they see, if they see uh, opportunity to get money, they will go for the opportunity. So they'll, they'll break a window out and say, hey, you know, they got insurance. It's like when we started talking. Just because somebody's white or doesn't support Black Lives Matter does not make them a racist. People mm -hmm. have their reasons for not supporting these things. My reasons have literally nothing to do with racism. I would love, I would love nothing more than for people to just fucking look at each other and not see any color. Black, white, brown, mm -hmm. I don't care what the fucking color is. But when, mm -hmm. but when I say I don't like Black Lives Matter, I'm not saying I don't like black lives. I'm saying I don't like groups that go around, do these things, or ignore stats, or... Or, or, or play victim complexes. I hate victim complexes. I look at stats and I see that I see that the mainstream media doesn't even give a fuck when a white person is shot. They don't care. And if they do report on it, they say, literally say, oh, boo-hoo, poor white people for being shot. But when a black person is shot, there's like riots and the mainstream media won't shut up about it. It's like, that's bias. That's double standard bias. They don't care. When Daniel Shaver was shot, the media didn't give a flying fuck at all. Mm. And many other ones. But when when they're shot, the media doesn't care. The, here's the thing. Black people actually have the privilege of the media caring. The media doesn't care about us. They don't no, care. They don't. About you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong about that. And here's why you're wrong. Okay, the news anchors here, the news anchors here tried to make it seem as though the uh, riots and everything were on the brink, were, were, were post after uh, George Floyd's death, which it wasn't. In my opinion, it had nothing to do with his death. So you're wrong about saying we're privileged. We're not privileged at all. We barely have shit. We barely have shit. I'm not saying overall. I'm saying you have the privilege of the media giving a shit about when, when you're shot. When that's we're shot, only, media, that's yeah. only because the that's only because the uh, the topic is the uh, topic is pushed it's for the media to care. That's why because it's kids being killed. It's not, you know, George Floyd thing was what was serious because it was live on camera and you had people around the officers saying, oh, get up, get up. And there's people on his net. OK, but it's 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 largely publicized because of the simple fact that you have kids being killed out of this innocent kids. Now, what about the guys? Now, what do you have to say about the guys 
that go in movie theaters and shoot up movie theaters. What about that? You speaking so much about what black people do. What about the people that do that? Whenever that happens, the media goes fucking crazy. The media talks for weeks and weeks and weeks when, when a white person does anything. But if a black guy does something, the media stays quiet. The media didn't even mention Tony Timpa. Tony Timpa was also strangled by a laughing cop, just like George Floyd, and he didn't get any media coverage. Because dude, you just, white. dude, you just contradicted yourself, though. You just sat up here and said we're bre- we're privileged, and the media gives a fuck and all of that. But then you went uh, two seconds later and said, "Oh, uh, when Tony Temple was shot, nobody cared, and all of this kind of stuff." Which one is it? Are we privileged? Tony Temple was white, huh? Tony Temple was white. Tony Temple didn't get media coverage because his skin was white. He didn't get media coverage. None. Nothing. People only knew about Tony Temple because of a couple articles on Google. But in terms of like the mainstream media, they didn't care. Very. Do you know, do you know who Tony Temple is? Have you heard his name before? No. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. Because he's white. If Tony Temple was black, you would know who he is. That's my point. So your okay. So your your point on going on somebody's uh, comment and basically denouncing Black Lives Matter and all of that stuff is because of white people. So let me get this straight. If somebody had spoke on Tony Temple, would you be having that same energy? Would you have that same energy? Well, well, Tony Temple is only one person. I would okay. still be talking, I would still be talking about what the stats are showing. But in terms of Tony, I obviously wouldn't mention it because he deserves just as much media coverage as any other person who has been shot and killed by police. He deserves just as much as anybody else. Both Tony Timpa and George Floyd were killed by being essentially strangled to death, effect- okay. effectively. But, okay. one, one, but one guy, George Floyd, got worldwide coverage and riots, and the other guy, the white guy, was ignored. Because he's white, the media doesn't care about us. So what? Ha- okay. So what happened to that cop then? Did that cop get off? That killed uh, Tony Temple. Did he get off? Was yeah, he locked up? As as, yeah, he did actually. As far as I know, he did. Yeah, he got off. He didn't yeah. do any time. At least the cop who killed George Floyd got second degree murder. At least. You said at least, and look how long it took. It they had all the. They had all the evidence right there. Look how long it took. It happened. It didn't happen. It didn't happen for Daniel Shaver, another white guy who was shot. It didn't happen for Daniel shot? Shaver. You said Daniel yeah, Shaver. A, a cop was a cop shot a white guy named Daniel Shaver. He got acquitted. He shot him with a machine with a, with an assault rifle. I see your point on that. I mean, because like I said, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't know about these two guys that you're mentioning. I did. And there's more. two guys that two guys I can give you as examples, sure, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more. I would, okay, never, so, I, would never, I would never use those cases to justify George Floyd or any other black guy. But the point is, we have to acknowledge when white people are shot by police and when black people are shot by police. It's not one or the other. Okay, because so let me ask you this. Why wasn't it... Okay, so why wasn't it people like you speaking up when this shit happened? You know why, you know why it's getting all of this media? Because people are speaking out on it. People are speaking out on it. Now, you're so passionate on Daniel Chambers Tony Tempa, and, and uh, you said it was other people. Why wasn't this, why wasn't anybody speaking out on it before? That's my question what? to you. For, for white people? Yeah, if you, if, you feel like, if you feel like we're so privileged, right? We're so privileged mm-hmm. and all of this kind of stuff. Why wasn't you speaking out before? This is what I'm, this is what I'm asking you. People, it's funny how you wait, hold on. It's funny how you're waiting until, uh, you know, we're trying to get justice for a, a black man that was murdered. Now you're saying, oh, well, check out uh, Billy Bob over here. He got killed. Nobody cared about him. But if mm-hmm. somebody had spoke up for him, like people are speaking up for George Floyd or Trayvon Martin or Sandra Bland or um, Alton Sterling or Philando Castle or the four little girls that got murdered or Emmett Till. I mean, I could go on and on about the people that got killed in, in, in my community. I could go on and on about that. And I'm pretty well, sure it will, probably, it will probably quadruple uh, the amount you know, of what you're speaking of. It will quadruple it. Because let it's me, happened more in our community. Let, let me give you an example of how awful the mainstream media is when it's towards white people. I'm okay. sure you, this you must have heard about because the media actually talked about it, one of those rare times. In 2016, there was, there was a disabled Trump supporter, he was white, 
and he was beaten almost to death by four black people just because he supported Trump. And when the mainstream media talked about it, this is what they said, and I'm quoting here. They go, a guy was beaten up by four people. They didn't say that it was a white guy beaten up by four black people. They deliberately left out the skin color okay. on purpose. They okay. did that on purpose. Yeah, I, see, on I see your point. I mean, I see your point. But let me ask you this. Um, yeah. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, them going to the library, walking down the street, and and been held at gunpoint for mistaken identity because you're black? Have you ever been through that? Have you ever been through that? Do you know what that feels like? Happened, but you, but you, but you know what I do get, by the way. But and, and by the way, I, li I live in Canada, by the way. But what I do receive, and I, I don't know the reason why, but I do feel like it's the whole race war that was restarted that caused this. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a race war going on, and that's and that's and has it has it has, has to stop. It has to stop. That's why I said what I said to you on on the comment because I felt like that was you know wasn't cool. When I when I'm in when I'm in my city and I'm just kind of like on the bus or something, I will get dirty looks from black people, and I think I get it just because I'm white. I think they look mm -hmm. at me and go, I think they look at me and probably think to themselves, I hate you know basically they think that I'm racist, so they give me a dirty look. But it's like. Why are you doing that? I've done nothing to you. Don't give me a dirty look just because I'm white. But well, I'm not. I'm not talking. Okay, I'm not finished. finish. It, it, but when they give me a dirty look just for having white skin, I'll look back at them, and it's like I'm doing something wrong for looking back when they did it first. I experience that all the time. Over here. I'm in Canada for fuck's sakes. I'm sure it's even worse in the U.S. White people. Wow, white people. Canada. That's amazing. That's amazing. Preassumed to be racist. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is a race war that was restarted and caused by people like the social justice warriors and the mainstream media. They caused it. It's their fault. So There's no reason for people to be this way. So I guess I guess uh, my your answer to my question was no. Then I guess because you didn't even answer. I say cops. I didn't say people. You're going to get looks from people because people people in general they like they're inferior of, uh, of themselves. So if, if you see somebody walking down the streets you don't know and you get a vibe from them, they may look at you a certain way. But I'm, I'm speaking on just being being a skin color because this is what it's about. From cops? From cops, from white, from white people, from people of other races. Have you ever been in a store? Have you ever went in a store just to look, just to look for something simple like uh, toilet tissue and, you've been be, and, you, and you, were, you were watched because you were black or because you were your skin color? No, and I okay. agree with you. Hold on, hold on. I'm not I finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished because you, you spoke on you spoke on what you spoke on about the plus. And, and, and I need to know, I, I, I need you to understand where we're coming from as a black race, where we're coming from. It's not about, oh, we just only care about black people. But you have to understand what it's like to be, to be uh, black, you know, to be a black person, to understand our pain and what we're going through, what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, being stopped by the police, not knowing if you're gonna make it home to your kids, just for sitting in the park waiting for your wife to get off work, you being you being pulled up on the police, you know what I mean, for no reason, or or, or being held on an expressway, guns blazing, helicopters, because somebody robbed the store on the uh, on the exit, so now they stopping your car, okay, or like that's like I mentioned, being stopped by the cops while you're going to the library to return books. Being stopped by the cops because you drive a nice car. Okay, this is not happening to white. To, to white. I hate to say it's not. It's not about race. I'm not a racist person. I have white people. I have white friends. I have white um, coworkers. I, you know, I've worked around white folks. I don't have nothing against white folks. But when people uh, like you and like other white folks who speak on oh, well, black, well, black this and black that, and y'all kill each other, yeah, that's true. And I'm pretty sure white folks kill each other too. I'm pretty sure they do too. But we do, but right now, the stats, the stats are low. The white on white crime is low, 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 low. It's like under ten percent. Of course, because of course, because majority of them are killing black people. What was that? That's why majority of them are killing black people. So of course they're not gonna kill their own, they own, they own people. Of course, the stats, the stats are low against white. If it's white on black, the, like, like I told you, the highest is black on black. It's like it's like eighty. Those numbers are false, brother. Those numbers are false. You cannot listen. They are ran by the system. They are ran by the system. They're false. 
I don't I don't believe in numbers and stuff. I, I go off of facts. I go off of what I read every day on and what I see on the news. Bro, what happens in the country? Now, if you're speaking on Canada, hold on, hold on. You're speaking on Canada stats. That's different. No, America. The, the stats are the stats. I'm telling you are the U.S. By the way. In fact, if you want to talk okay. about Canada, in the U.S., the stats show that black on black crime is the highest, and and um, white people are shot more by police than black people in the U.S. But black people are shot more in Canada. It's actually completely reversed in Canada. And if I may point out to you, don't talk about the about the news because the mainstream media are fucking liars. They're fake news. The mainstream media lies. Oh, yeah. So you're talking about stats and all of that shit. What what does that have to do with anything? You just proved my point. They're liars, right? Where are you getting the stats from? The FBI. I'm looking at FBI crime stats, not the mainstream media. Fuck the media. I'm talking about FBI crime stats. FBI crime stats. Yes. The FBI okay. crime statistics on the website. Go look. I'm not talking about the fucking mainstream media. I'll never listen to a word they have to say. Fuck them. The mainstream media are liars. They lie about everybody. White, black, brown, I don't care who you are. The mainstream media lies about everybody. I'm talking about FBI, FBI, FBI crime statistics. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. The fact, the fact is, is that, like, like, you have not witnessed what we, what we deal with. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 unsettling when you're when when it's somebody like myself. I don't I never sold drugs. I don't stand out in, in front of stores. You know, um, I take care of my family. I provide for my kids and all that stuff. Like I'm I'm an upstanding dude. But when I go outside, I'm looked at as the guy that that sag is. I don't even sag my pants. I don't. I, none of that stuff is cool to me. So <laughs> when you're dealing with when you're dealing with being put in a category. As somebody else, because of what you look like, it kind of fucks you up psychologically. You know, and, and yeah, go ahead. I have a question for you. Um, now, just, just so you know, this question is not a defense for all those awful cops. I'm just talking as a very generalized thing. Go ahead. Stats, you know, like I said, stats show that black people commit half of all crimes, but make up only 13% of the population. If okay. you, hypothetically, you were a cop. And you knew, and you knew that just thirteen percent of the of the entire population commits half of all the crimes. Would you not have some suspicion or caution when approaching that particular race? Suspicion or caution? Hmm. That's a good question. If you, you knew that thirteen percent, a small fraction of the population, commits half of the crimes. Surely you would approach that particular race with some caution. Surely you would. Right, right. But you also have to look at it like this, too. It's not, I don't know how it is in Canada, but in the U.S., cops are not looked at as, like, superheroes or vigilantes or anything like that, okay? So the suspicion is on both parts. It's not just one part. Now, if I were a policeman, because I'm answering your question, if I were a policeman, now, am I a white policeman or am I a black policeman? Because that's what, that's what matters. Any, because, okay. I mean... So if I, was, if I was myself, if I was myself, okay, if I was myself as a cop, then I would try to go into my communities and try to make a difference and try to show, hey, there are good cops, just like there are good white people, there are good black people. I'm not going to fall into the, the, the whole thing of, oh, just shoot him because he brushing his hair or shoot him or, you know what I'm saying, or shoot him because he did this. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's, that's what I would do. I would try to make a difference if I was a cop. Oh, I wouldn't want to be a cop. I wouldn't want to be a cop because, like I said, they don't have a good name in America at all. They don't have a good name in America at all. Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely. I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want to do it. But if I was to be a cop, I would try to make a difference. Yeah. Especially well, anybody, my community. The, the, the fucking, the point is, like, even if, even if, even, even if the, even if the stats were on white people, if I was told that white people only made up thirteen percent of the population but committed half of all crimes, I would, I would then start being cautious around white people because they're committing so many fucking crimes. I'd have to show some caution. I don't want to be shot myself just for being a cop. But you attack. can't, but you can't, but you can't look like an ass and assume that all black people are going to rob you or shoot you because we're not. I'm no. not. If I if, no. if I met somebody like you, I wouldn't even. That's not even on my mind, man. That's not even on my mind. I'm an artist. I draw. I, I dance. I'm not thinking about killing or doing anything. Not all black people are like that. 
You're not, but the thing is, if you're a cop, you have to be cautious because you're going around criminals all day of all colors. At any point, it only takes it only takes one bullet. True. It only takes true. One you, and I, you and I don't have to show that caution, but a cop does. We don't have to show that caution. A cop has to understand that a small percentage of the population is committing half of all the crimes, so they have to go fuck me. Obviously, they're committing most of the crimes. If you if you talk about ratios here, so I mean, so explain this. Explain explain this. Explain this to me then. Okay, yeah. I seen this is live video footage. I seen um, cops pull over a white woman. Okay, mm -hmm. pulled over a white woman. She got out the car, charging at the cops, mm -hmm. charging and screaming at the cops. Now, mind you, this is the in the middle of Corona and all of that stuff, right? Right. We still got that shit going on. Now, let me ask you this. If that were a black woman or a black man that done the same thing, do you think they you think that she would have gotten away? Because they didn't do anything to the to the lady. They just basically took her down and put handcuffs on her. But I believe that because of what I've seen, that if it were a black male or a black woman charging at the police, pow pow, that's it. So when you say take caution, what type of caution are you talking? Are you saying I gotta hold on to my gun and keep my finger on the trigger type caution? Or are you saying let me think? logically and and try to try to find us a way to, to, to get into this and make it a, a, a positive solution so nobody gets hurt because that's what that's that's a taser or something they probably would use a taser, or they would use huh? a taser or something. maybe they would have used a taser or some shit no 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 they wouldn't have they wouldn't have there's been too many situations and not even uh situations that that have been on the news the media covers like a small percentage of what goes on in the communities they don't cover everything because shit happens every second. It's probably something happening yeah. right now. So they can't cover every single thing. But it is a double standard when you got a white woman charging at the police versus a black man. Like, like if, I, if I was, which I, like, you saying caution, I'm taking caution. Like, when I got pulled over by the cops, listen, I, was, I wasn't afraid of them because I'm not afraid of any man. I was afraid of not making a home to my wife and my kids. And that right there, a cop, if you're supposed to protect and serve, why do I got it? Why, as a black man, I have this fear in my heart? Just by you pulling me over, asking me for my license. Now, I'm not doing anything. I think my turn, my, um, my blinker was out or is them, and they pulled me over for that. Something simple. But just, just because of what you said, caution. Caution goes on both parts. Then you have people that are, you have people that are not criminals, but they may, they may, it's, it's kind of like if you back a, a um, a dog or a pit bull in the corner. They're going to attack. So it's like the stigma that's on policemen for, for years, years, over a hundred something years, okay? The stigma that's on policemen. It pushes black people like myself to be on alert, to be on the defense because we don't know if this is just a simple traffic stop. Like Sandra Bland who got pulled over for a traffic signal and then she was murdered in her jail cell. But nobody, nobody's really, you know what I'm saying? That, that shit right there is kind of like, you know, it swept under the rug. But she was pulled over for a traffic signal. Okay? The little boy, hands up, don't shoot. What's the, like, this is what I'm saying. The stigma on, on, on cops and black people is far different than whites and black people. You guys, not meaning you, not meaning you, but majority of the time, you guys get away with the simplest shit. Y'all get away with shit. Us, we don't. If I get pulled over right now, if I get pulled over right now, guess what? I'm I'm praying I'm praying to my God that I believe in that I'm going to make it home, because that's the type of fear that they put in the black community. Do you think? Let me ask you this. And, and okay. I, I already I already gave you my reasons. I'm just wondering I'm just wondering if your reasons the same as mine or if you got a different reason. Go ahead. With that being said, why do you think white people are statistically shot more than black people by cops? The numbers are higher. Why is that? I'm not sure. Um, I never actually heard of that until you said that because um, yeah, you can and, check on, um, yeah, I will. I will. I will definitely check because, like I said, you know, it's, it's always good to it's good to learn something new every day. You know, so I'll definitely check. But I haven't heard of the stats or anything like that as far as white. You said white people are killed more by cops than black people. Yeah, in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I I, I gotta look that up. From what the stats show, white people are shot more, but mm -hmm. black people are like beaten more. Okay. 
Like with George Floyd, right? Because because with, with George Floyd, it was it wasn't a gunshot, right? It was his neck. So the stats show that it's black people are assaulted more, but white people mm-hmm. are shot more. Mm-hmm. That's what the stats show. Yeah. Right, right, right. But at the same time, you have to realize. I'm pretty sure you. Your name's Matt. If you got pulled over by the police, you're not faring for your life, are you? Are you? No, no you feel protected, right? But us, it's not protect and serve. It's protect and curb. I don't feel protected, but I don't feel like, like I'm at risk either. I just It's kind of neutral. <laughs> right. But with us, we don't feel protected at all. Yeah. And this is, this is coming from a black man from Philadelphia who, is, who lives in Anderson, who grew up in the inner community, who's been pulled over by police at a young age for nothing. I'm returning library books, man. I ain't doing shit because I have a hoodie on. It was raining. It was weird. I got a hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's a difference when you're dealing with you're dealing with someone like a police officer, okay? Or if you're going in the store and you got a white person that owns the store, hey, you need help? No, I don't need help. I just walked in the motherfucker. I don't need help. But why are you asking me? Do I need help? Okay? Now, what I do know is a lot of that motherfuckers, they still out of stores more than we do. You're talking about you seeing black people looting and all of that. I seen it different. I seen it different because I seen a, a live web, a live uh, stream of uh, white folks, and I appreciate uh, people speaking out um, and standing up for black people. But what I'm saying is, is that I've seen a live stream where white folks were doing this, doing more shit than we was doing. Okay, when we when when Philadelphia won the uh, when the Eagles won the championship, right? They turned over the damn police car. Not us. We didn't do that shit. When the Phillies won, they broke out the subway windows. Not us. So, but if we had done it, if we had done it, if black people had done it, it would have been more black people being shot and killed. So I don't know. I don't know what stats show, but those stats and my from what I lived through, they're false. They're not accurate at all. Because what I face every day, if that were the case with black people. With uh, cops killing black people versus cops killing white people, then black people weren't fair for their lives every time they pulled over for a simple tra- for a simple fucking traffic stop. They weren't fair for their yeah. lives if that were the case. Situations like that are completely fucked. But at the same time, just generally speaking, it's not good to just go based on your feelings or personal experiences because you take those experiences and extrapolate them to be, oh, this is how the whole world is. It's not a, it's not a good mentality because when you take your feelings or your opinions and go, this is, this, this is how it is, point mm-hmm. blank, you're, mm-hmm. you're just making the race even worse. You have to go by a case-by-case right. case basis. You have to look at the stats. You have to look at right. the stats for everything because right. part, of the reason, part of the reason why white people are blamed for everything is because people are ignoring the stats. We're blamed for everything that goes wrong, and it's not true. We're not. There are awful cops. Make no mistake about it, but we're not to blame for every little fucking thing that goes on in the world. But SJWs say that we are, and that's not right. That's why we have a, that's why we have a race war now, because we're blamed for everything, and we hate it. But, but the race, but the race war is not because of just that, bro. The race war is because of what happened to our people for years, for years, man. Like I said, if I if I went down the list of black people that were murdered, that were murdered, innocent black people, not that not all of us are criminals. Innocent black people that were murdered, and this is over decades, eons, centuries, that were murdered, okay? They were murdered. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like I said, that number will, will, will shit on your stats, your stats that you have, because they're not telling you every single thing. And I'm, I don't know how much history you do on on that year, 400 years. See, I didn't want to go on in 400 years, because that's even going back, Ivy. But yeah, she's right. My sister Ivy, she's right. 400 years we've been going through this, being, being looked at as lower than animals. Lower than animals. We were taken from our homeland and given names. My name probably not even, uh, shit, if I was back then, my name probably not even really French or whatever. It's probably something else. But this is what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get over it. Just like you need to get off of this live, Eric Blade. Like, huh? This person, Eric played 400 years ago. Yeah, okay. But it's, it's still going on now. It's still going on now. And it has to stop. It's going on now. 
Slavery was a, was a disgusting thing, but how can we still talk about that today? Nobody who's alive today... Because it hasn't been, been a change. It hasn't really been a change. It has not really been a change, man. You just need to have a point. It hasn't. What you, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? It has not been no change when it comes to the rape, the black and the white race. It has not been a change. You who's just a slave to listen, me? huh? Who's nope, a slave nope. today? Obviously, nobody's a slave. Obviously, nobody's a slave, dude. But what I'm saying is, is that, I mean, what I'm saying is, is that the fact is, when you go, when cops are being pulled over, when cops are pulled over, pulling black people over, okay? You just sit up there and said you don't have no fear or anything. Like, you don't feel protected, but you don't have a fear. This is what I mean. The change, it hasn't been a real change. We're not looked at as equal to this day. We're not. We are not. This is why you have people like yourself going on here saying, oh, all lives matter, and, 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 and Johnny, Johnny, John, Johnny Smith was shot yesterday, and all this stuff. Nobody talked about that. Well, speak on it then, brother. If you feel like your people ain't been and spoke up, speak the fuck up. Don't be a mouse when it's happening. And then when we start speaking up for people that's being killed in our community, now you want to come on people's posts and try to talk your little shit. Don't do that. That's all I'm saying. If, if there's another case that happens, hold on, if there's another case that happens. We're not allowed to. Listen, huh? If a white Oh, you're not allowed to. Okay, so you did it now. You spoke now, didn't you? That's why we're talking now, right? Yeah, we are. But if I'm okay, but why didn't you do this before? That's my question to you. You're not answering my question. You're not answering no, my question. Do. Why didn't you do this I before? Do. I do on my YouTube videos, but I'm talking about worldwide. If a white person dares to talk bro, about the YouTube white person, videos and shit don't matter, bro. None of that shit matters. Nobody cares about YouTube videos, bro. Nobody cares about that. If you feel like if you feel like white people are not being spoke up and they're being murdered and nobody gives a fuck, then you need to do more than YouTube videos, brother. You need to. You need to You're do that. You're not Why allowed not? to. White Why people not? are not allowed to talk. If white people talk about other white people being shot, we're called racist and we're put down. We're told to shut the fuck up. We are not allowed to speak. If I try to talk about Tony Timber or whoever, I was I, I, in, any instantly people will go, Matt, shut the fuck up. Who cares about Tony Timber? He's white. That's the first thing we're fucking told. We are told to shut the fuck up because we're talking about white people and we don't matter. That's what we're told. We're said we're, we are said we are looked at and said shut up because you're white. We are not allowed to talk about these people. We're not. We're not allowed. That's the truth. The media won't allow us. And, and, and all these groups won't allow us. SJWs won't allow us to talk. Black Lives Matter won't allow us to talk. If we try to talk, we're called racist. If I dare to say Tony Tempo was a white guy who was strangled just like George Floyd, I'm told, shut the fuck up, you're racist because you're white. That's what we're told. Okay, but you're only speaking on you're only speaking on one one situation that's going on with you guys. And my you know my heart goes out to because I don't want to see anybody get murdered. I'm not I'm not a hateful person. I love all people. You know what I'm saying? I've done plenty of I've, I've worked at plenty of jobs where I've worked around diverse people. Okay, not just blacks, not just whites, not, not Mexicans, Guatemalans, uh, Spanish, Latinos. I have Latino friends. I have um my um. My former art mentor, who I look at like my sister, she's uh, basically like a godmom to my son, who is black, and she's white. So um, it's not a thing with that. like I don't hate white people. But what I'm saying is, is that when when shit like that start happening in your community, right? If you flip it around, if you flip it around, and white and, and white folks are being targeted, okay, they're being targeted by racist black cops, mm -hmm. racist black cops. Then you can understand what we're talking about. Now, somebody being murdered, my heart goes out to them. I, I sincerely, you know, prayers to them, to their family. But it's bigger than that. Like I said, it's bigger than George Floyd. It's been going on for centuries, decades. We're not being looked at as equal. We're not. We're not. So I don't give a fuck about what Eric Gate mm -hmm. is saying. I mean, he, he's a fucking mm -hmm. weirdo. He's a weirdo. Well, hang on. Did you also know that in the 1600s, for a brief, of course, this is not slavery across the board. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Speak, speak. There was, time, there was a time, I believe it was in the 1600s, white slaves actually outnumbered black slaves. Did you know that? In Spain. Yeah, I know a little bit about that. I know a little bit about that, to be honest. Yeah, I did. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who cares about that? Yeah, they, uh, they were considered as uh, wetbacks, right? Oh, I think wetback is a Mexican for is a racist term for Mexican people. Well, my bad. Well, I heard I heard something along the lines of that, but yeah. see, but nobody cares about that either. 
when we talk it's about not racism, that no, it's we, not it's not that nobody cares. It's not that nobody cares. It's the fact that what's going on in the black community in general. Okay, you know, like what what's happened to black people in general. When people try to do peaceful protests, and you have uh, cop sick and dogs or water holes or stuff or, or 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 shit like that. You know that that right there to this day it resonates in our community, and this is what makes us fear. Um, you know, certain white people. Like even if I even if I if if I walk around, I'm in a certain area. Now this is a this is an honest truth. I've been through this. This has nothing to do with police. I was in um suburb of Philadelphia. Me and my friends, we were just walking around, you know, summertime. You know, kids, you know kids just walk around, you know. And a white woman walking her dog, she looks at us, she says, Are you guys lost? Are you guys lost? What kind of shit is that? This is what I'm talking about. Now, fast forward, in my neighborhood, I was sitting on my step yesterday. I seen white folks walking up and down the street. I didn't say nothing to them. I didn't say, are you lost? Are you from around here? You, do you see the difference? This is why we are so enraged because of that. We're not looked at as evil. We can't go into a white area and just walk around and, and do this and do that. Listen, I got pulled over by the cops for shooting, uh, for, uh, shooting around and, uh, at a basketball court. To be fair, I'm not allowed to go to. To be fair, though, I'm not allowed to go to a black neighborhood without without fear that, that they're gonna attack me for being there. I can't do that either. Well, brother, that's 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 a. I, I don't know why you would think that way. I mean, like I said, if 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 you know maybe these black people did something to you, I don't know. But that's an ignorant way of uh, ignorant mindset because, like I said, not all black people are like that. But the stigma of police is higher than what good cops are. It's high. With police, yes. With police, yes. But with white people, people with certain white people too. If you go in certain community, if you go in certain communities, if you go in certain communities as a black man, as a black man, okay. If you go in certain communities and you go in an all white community, it's it's an area called um, what is it? Uh, Cutstown, Cuts Pennsylvania. Okay, we was pulled over by the police for dropping a friend off that went to the university out there. Mind you, all of us in the car are black, but we were pulled over and held up for an hour. For an hour. This is in Pennsylvania, Kutztown, Pennsylvania, Kutztown University. A friend goes to that, went to that college. We were, we were dropping them off after hanging out with them, and we got pulled over. We couldn't get out of the community. So you, you tell me. You can't tell me logically that it would be perfectly fine for a white guy like me to go to an all-black area and, and have no fear. If you, if you ever, listen, if you ever come to Philadelphia and you ever in my neighborhood, listen, we can, I won't, listen, won't nobody bother you. I'm being, I'm telling you the honest truth, won't nobody bother you. If I see you, listen, hey, man, you, you do Michael Jackson, hey, let's, 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 let's have a dance battle. Nope, all-black people are not like that. Now, if you go into white communities, White, pe white people are, oh my gosh, oh, let me grab my purse, oh goodness. It's a reason why in black malls, hold on, hold on. It's a reason why in black malls there are metal detectors, but in white uh, suburban area malls, there aren't any metal detectors. It's a reason why. Because we are looked at as thieves. We are looked at as criminals. We are looked at as, 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 as inmates, convicts, whatever. But if you go into a... Uh, uh, Black people, but again, if you look at if you look, maybe they're talking about stats. White people, uh, black people have the highest crime rate for theft. That's also a fact. I'm not saying all black people steal, of course not. But if you have the highest crime rate for theft, they're they're going to be cautious in those types of malls or stores. They're not trying to be racist. They're they're not saying that you're going. Is to it steal. stats? Okay, but is it stats or is it assumptions? It sounds like you're, it's assumptions. Because not all black people, but not all black people still in theft. Say they all do. I'm saying, I'm saying black people have the highest percentage of it. Like, for example, everyone cheats, right? Everybody cheats. But again, yeah. check the stats. People have the highest percentage of cheating. They do. These are all just stats you can look up. I'll send them to you on, on the, you know, personal message thing. They okay, do. what about, okay, okay, you're mentioning cheating. What about the white folks that fuck their own sisters and brothers? What about that? Yeah, they're pretty, yeah white Incest. people are pretty high. <laughs> yeah, you guys are high for that shit. Yeah, listen, listen. I take I take a motherfucker still for me than than the, the fucking their own sister any day of the week because you could get that out of back. You can't. That shit is just trifling. What y'all be doing? 
I'm not here to fucking defend anything that involves white people if it's not true. I will tell you that black people have the highest percentage of theft and cheating, but white people have the highest percentage of, like, disgusting incest and shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's, fucking, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, it is. You know, <laughs> and not, all, not all black people are, are into that. You know, and, 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 and stats are not always accurate, even if they are from the FBI. They tamper with shit, too, man. They do, they do it, too, man. They're not always accurate, but you also can't ignore them. They're not you got accurate. it from the internet. You got it from the internet, didn't you? You got it from the internet? Well, I didn't walk into the FBI's office, no. I went to their website. Okay, <laughs> so here's why okay, so here's why I'm saying it's not it may not be accurate. You can go on Wikipedia and change your own um you could change it on George Bush's life and say that he was from Philadelphia. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, don't you can edit the FBI's stats. You don't but people listen, people have ways. There are people that are masterminds of that shit that can go in and, and manipulate shit. Don't believe in stats all the time. But dude, that, that's, that's not rational. You can't just be like, well, statistics could be edited, so you have to ignore them. You, can't, you don't ignore but you're them. Rationalize it. But you're rationalizing too. When you sit up there and say, oh, oh yeah, uh, you know, I can't walk into a black community. I'm, you know, I'm... yeah, you can. Why can't you? You've been robbed before? What community are you going into? Did you do anything to my? Did you do anything to somebody in that community? The fact that I live near Toronto, which is apparently very multicultural, and I get death stares by black people, just in areas that are mixed. Imagine, imagine what those stares would be like if I went to an all black area. <laughs> I, I, I see your point. I see your point. But my 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 uh, point to you is is that when you get the stares, maybe you should speak. Say, hey, how you doing? Speak. See how you looking at me? You look like you about to slit my throat. That's that's just probably how you naturally look. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if I seen you and, and I didn't, let's say if I didn't ever speak to you, you know, when I seen you, I would be like, oh shit, this motherfucker look creepy. Hold on, let me watch. You know, get over here. I like tell my kids to get over here because you have a certain look about you. So maybe you should try to smile a little more. Maybe say, hey, how you doing? I'm Matt. Speak. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why you're getting those stares. Because not all black people listen. We. We, we some fucked up people. We, we can be. But there are some very good down-to-earth black people, even down to the person that, if you move move your head, move your head this way, move your head. Let me see that poster right there, brother. Who that? Brother Michael Jackson, uh-huh. Most down-to-earth brother that, that I ever know. okay? But if you looked at Michael Jackson the way you're looking, he'd probably, oh, my gosh, look, Jesus. Tito, get the car. He'd be scared. But this thing is counting down, man. It's good talking to you, man.